So I finally finished um, prepping the bumpers. Um, I still had this rack that I made last time so I can mount them on it and spin them round and work easily. Uh, the front one took a long time. Um, in total I spent 8 hours today, 12 hours yesterday, uh, another probably 7 or 8 hours um, in evening time over the last week. We're probably looking at around 30 hours of work uh, just to prepare the bumper. And that's because it's got all these complicated shapes. It's made up of um, many parts. This is the main part of the front bumper. And then there's these parts over here, which I'll come to in a minute. And in all these little uh, kind of cavities where the pieces join together, there's just like this much muck. Um, I didn't stop to take many photos, I only took one, which I'll try and add to the video. Um, and after cleaning it, then I could do the same repair work like I did on the main body. This was quite a bad chip here, which I smoothed out. Uh, a couple more marks here, which have been smoothed out. And here. Um, this line was where the next piece came on top. Dug right into the paint. This side not so bad, just a little bit of smoothing. This side I had to work a bit harder on. You can see it's a bit thinner. There was another bad chip here, which I smoothed out. Um, and that's just for the blue part. Then for the, this is the original grey. This is not the elastic wrap anymore. You can see that it's a bit discoloured and I've sanded it a bit from last time. And this mark here, this is where I did some repair work last time. When I bought the car, there was a massive crack along here. And so I uh, joined it together and then I used some filler and some uh, uh, primer and then some paint and I smoothed it all out. So this is actually repaired, this bumper. Um, and it's got a lot of, what do you call that stuff, kind of bondo on the inside. Um, and it's solid now. Then there was another repair I did here. Last time there's a massive chunk missing out of here. This looks rough, but it's, but it's, it's very smooth. This was the repair work I did last time. This was some touch-up job that the guy before me had done. Um, which looks rubbish, but it's smooth enough not to worry about. I can just paint over it. And then there was another massive chip missing out of this one. So there was a huge... This corner was knocked off. So it's been hit a couple of times. And, uh, yeah, so I filled that in and smoothed it out. I think there was a minor one underneath here somewhere. Um, so that's all the bodywork I did last time. Um, the rear bumper required a lot less. Uh, there was just one big chip here and then I smoothed out all this hard line around the step uh, like you saw on the door handles of the car that's all smoothed out uh, there was a big chip here and here and then on this corner let me turn it around so we get better light this corner was very rough I had a lot of texture in this corner um, that's it, because I kind of messed this corner up a bit, so I've sanded it all out. You can see the marks from the sanding. Here especially, it was very lumpy, so this is all smooth now. Not ready for spraying. Um, so for the parts which are grey elastirap, I'm taking them back to their original white. You can still see the faint outline where the Mitsubishi uh, badge was, which I've still got. Um, I don't know if I put it back or not. I didn't last time. I always meant to, and then I never got around to it. But this was especially hard to clean because you can see all these uh, slats and corners are very hard to work around. So now this part is the front grill. This is the only part left to clean. Um, and just to show you what I'm working with, the front of the car seems to soak up so much muck. Um, if we take away this little grey piece, there, so you can see what it's all like. And all this has to be cleaned off. 
um, which on this piece won't be so bad because it's fairly uh, it's got a nice it's on the outside of the curve so it's quite easy but on the bumper on the front bumper all these you can see that they're all inside and so I really had to scrape hard with a tool to get all that muck out and at the same time trying not damage the uh, plastic wrap too much because I want to use it as a base coat so with much patience turn it around I eventually got it all out that's nice and clean all the way around ready for spraying so um, probably 30 hours plus and I've still got a couple of bits to do like this front grille so uh, this is a real exercise in patience um, you can't go cutting corners especially at this late stage So now I've masked away the bottom piece, the accent piece, so this is now ready for its first coat of primer. So that's it, that's the first coat. Um, <coughs> now I'll let that dry and then start laying on thicker coats. Okay, now it's time for the second coat, and this time I'll go a bit thicker. So here's the finished accent piece after putting the frosted clear coat on. You can see the way the light catches it. See, it's not quite glossy. A bit of a satin sheen to it, so I quite like that. Um, came out pretty good. It's nice and bright. Um, I had one minor defect, because I got a bit overzealous with the uh, clear coat. And you can see here, that there's just a little bit of a run. You can see like a drip mark. So once it's completely dry, I can sand that out gently and touch it up. But because of where it is, I mean, this is right at the bottom of the car, number plate sits here. So, I mean, this is the angle that you'll always see it from. Um, I might not bother. I think I'll reassemble the car as it is and then see how much it bothers me. And then there was one other minor defect, which is here. Can you see this little bit here? That was just me being cat handed and I stabbed it with my fingernail. But again, uh, it's so minor um, down there that I won't bother touching that up. So, now that the accent part is finished, I can let that dry and cure, get nice and hard and then I'll mask it and spray the main piece and when I mask it um, I'll mask it in a bit here and hope that it all peels off this stuff nicely without leaving a mark it should do if I let this white stuff cure for long enough okay so now I'm ready to spray the bumpers I've masked off the white part with a little bit of a gap so I can score along the line and peel off like before. Um, and apart from the two bumpers, I've got that side piece which covers the rail for the sliding door and the petrol cap. 
and the front grill. And I'm in a bit of a hurry because it looks like it's going to start raining soon. So I've already got the dip mixed up. Um, because I had slightly less than the quantities um, I planned for, this green is actually a bit darker um, than the previous green, so I hope it doesn't give me too much of a colour difference. Okay, so I'll spray these and then update again later. So I've got the bumpers finished just in time before the rain started and I can bring the car back in because the uh, problem is the car's full of holes, right? So I can't sit outside in the rain. Um, the blue is almost dry, dry enough that I could remove the masking and now you can see the white against the blue uh, which is looking quite nice. So it still needs to fully cure but it's dry enough to touch now. Um, and I might try putting the rear bumper on tonight. I've started doing the other white pieces which are coming out okay but uh, because I'm rushing a bit I've started to make some mistakes so you can see here I think it's going to come out on camera a bit of lumpiness that's because there was a big drip so I wiped it smooth um, this is repairable basically you just have to wait for it to dry completely sand it back a little bit uh, sand the paint back and then just touch it up um, same thing for this front piece I just rushed it way too much and we can see there's a big drip here and there's another drip here there you can see that one so um, I've got to stop rushing I've got to calm down and just wait uh, I was really hoping to get the front bumper fully reassembled and put back on the car this weekend, but uh, it's just not going to happen. Um, but the rear bumper is done. Uh, I've put these little reflectors back in. They're not actually lights, these are just reflectors. Um, when I was peeling it off, uh, let me get the focus, this rear step, um, needed touching up so because you can see it a bit shiny that's because I touched up the back of that rear step with some black once it dries it'll all be the same colour and now the rear bumper is good enough I can put it back on the car and then call it a day I still have this big roll of uh, wire mesh that I used last time to cut out a new grill. Um, last time I painted it gold, you can see it's looking a bit dirty. First couple of years it looked really good. Um, I should have changed it sooner, really. So I'm going to cut a new one out, and this time I'm going to paint it uh, blue. It's very similar to this kind of blue. So now the rear bumper is back on and as I mentioned when I was spraying the bumpers I didn't quite have enough of each colour to maintain exactly the same ratio of colours um, so the base coat on these bumpers is ever so slightly darker than the rest of the car and in this lighting so like a single source fluorescent lighting then you can kind of spot it if you know what you're looking for you can see this whole piece is ever so slightly darker than the surrounding pieces. Um, but um, you really have to look for it. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera. Um, once you know what you're looking for, of course, you can see it. And even in this lighting, you know, unless the uh, light is at, at a specific angle, then um, you can't see it, so even on this side right now, which is a bit darker in the garage, it's kind of hard to spot. So, I think I can get away with it. Well, I've got no choice anyway, I'm stuck with it now. So, it is what it is. Um, this side strip, 
you can maybe tell is an ever so slightly darker colour and the petrol cap as well is ever so slightly darker these were all sprayed with the bumpers but in the daylight you can't see it at all um, daylight you know it looks more like this so when I do the final shots outside in the daytime keep an eye on that and see if you can spot it uh, I was a little bit disappointed at first but I've come to accept it already so you can maybe hear it's raining there's not much else I can do in the rain because I need to take the car out in order to spray um, all the little white pieces but I can't leave this car outside in the rain right now because there's all these open holes so I've been using the time to reassemble the front bumper so now this is how the front bumper looks reassembled and uh, there's a nice contrast between the white and the blue the white is looking clean and fresh um, you can see the difference nice clean lines between the two so this came out good and I made a new grill out of some metal for the back which I sprayed blue so you can't cut out here but you can see it in this light you see this patch here so this is this is the new grill colour so in this dark garage it's a bit hard to spot but you can you can see here where the light's reflecting on it so that looks quite nice as well so that got a blue metallic sheen to it it's very subtle um, so once the weather's better I can take the car out and put the front bumper back on uh, which would be good and I can continue working on the other white trim pieces.